How's the level of my voice? Like, should I turn the microphone up, or is it, um, is it good? Cut it on the I think I think you're great. Okay, great. I guess we're gonna start. Cool. All right. <laughs> Hi, Chester. How are you doing, man? Hey, I'm how's everything? Great. I'm great. Thank you very much. How are you? We're doing great. Thanks for uh, coming and, uh, you know, having, spending time with us. Thank you. Of course. Yeah. Um, just want to say, first of all, um, I'm personally a, a fan of your, your, your band. Um, I actually saw you guys perform in Tokyo last time at the Stussy store. Oh, sweet. Yeah, I was there. Sweet. It was, was, it was, was a pretty really sick uh, little session. Yeah. Nice and intimate. For sure, yeah. Yeah, it was good. When was uh when was the last time you were in Tokyo? Uh, we were actually there in um. I guess October of 2019. Right, right. Uh, we were supposed to play <clears throat> a couple of shows, but uh, they both got canceled because of the typhoon. Oh, really? Um, what? Ha Hagibis? Yeah. So we <laughs> we were we landed like right before it started, and we were just like trapped in our hotel for a couple of days that and then, sucks yeah um yeah i mean pretty much we you know obviously we want to talk about the music and stuff but you know we just want to ask it like you know simple more like casual questions as well so um yeah. currently uh where do you live like wh what part of the earth do you live <laughs> uh in toronto okay nice yeah nice. yeah How, how's it over there it's good it's good it's starting to get cold right now uh so yeah, winter's starting. <laughs> but, nice. Yeah, uh, I, 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 I like I'm I'm I think I've been there like probably like a couple times, but I remember it was super cold in like October, November already. So yeah, yeah, I can imagine. Yeah. I want to visit yeah. Toronto once. <laughs> what what what's the best part of your town? What's your favorite? Uh, I live, I live like in the east part of the city, which mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. I think it's my favorite. It's just like the west end is sort of where all the trendy stuff is uh, but the east end is a little more quiet but there's still good you know good restaurants and everything you need but it's nice. just a little less busy <laughs> yeah there's a lot of like different like uh different types of food when i went there like you know different from different ethnicity like base you know like i was surprised when i was there what what do you do outside of music like what's your hobby do you have it any hobby uh mostly just like cooking food at home and <laughs> like, <laughs> like playing uh i don't know playing video games watching basketball mm. uh, a basketball recently, fan. yeah i i don't know I, I wasn't in the past but this year i've like just been watching every raptors game how, how uh, crazy was uh when uh when the raptors won the championship it was amazing yeah it was, it was like <laughs> the city must I, have been I, crazy I, I'd never seen anything like it in Toronto. <laughs> we have like a lot of teams, but especially the hockey team is, I think, very disappointing to people. <laughs> so <laughs> it was it was great to see like one of our teams, you know, do that well, and and everyone's super excited. It was really fun. Nice. Mm -hmm. Um. So, do you have like uh, obviously you want to talk about your own album, but do you have like other albums that you were into this year? Yeah, um, hmm. that's a good question. I mean, or maybe just in 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 general, like like yeah. what kind of like albums? Or I'm sure you have like a decent amount of vinyl as well. Maybe like your your go to like this is like classic, you know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know. On in terms of vinyl, like I have a, a couple that well i have a lot that i really like but a few that are really special like uh this uh this group called the high llamas has uh -huh. a has an album called hawaii um mm -hmm. and it's it's a it's a cool band like some of the members were in stereo lab i believe uh -huh. um and yeah it's just like a really cool cool record it's almost like beach boys okay vibe, mm -hmm. like instrumental beach boys <laughs> and they also sing but um 
yeah, that's that's a great one on vinyl. Nice. And then uh, my partner used to work at a record store, and she got there's this guy named Mort Garson who does like synth um, or did synth music, kind of like Moog stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, nice. And he has an album called Plantasia that's really beautiful. Nice. Uh, so we have that on vinyl. And that's man. That's how great. do you even find those? You like you do you just dig through music at record shops or <laughs> that, sometimes? Yeah, that one was at the store that she worked at, uh, and then that other one I mentioned. I I, I got stuff on Discogs like pretty often. But, nice, nice. So you like uh, to do a lot of research uh, and you know, even even like you know digital as well, huh? Yeah. It's hard though, because you, I don't know, if you find a record you like, it's like, I don't know, sometimes the original vinyl is very expensive. And then even the reissue mm-hmm. could be like $60 or something. Yeah. And you're like, yeah. oh, maybe I'll just, maybe I'll just stream it for now and then right. <laughs> save up. <laughs> at least you have like this special moment where you like find it, you know? Yeah. At, at a record shop versus digital, where it's just like sort of recommended already. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I, so I mean, like- I, <laughs> I love doing that when we're traveling, like just going to different record stores and stuff. Yeah, for mm. sure. Nice. Yeah. You you said sometimes records are expensive, but what what do you spend money outside of music? Uh good question. I mean, <laughs> yeah, like getting food. <laughs> <laughs> getting food for sure. Um to live. <laughs> yeah, like I and music equipment, like you know. Uh, effects pedals and mm. <laughs> guitars and things like that that's probably what I like spend the most money on <laughs> um, yeah not a whole lot mm-hmm. nice <laughs> actually I just got a, um, a a bass from this company from mm. Korea called Mulan mm. um, and I'm I'm really excited <laughs> about that because I'm Korea waiting, wow I was Korea. waiting for it for a while and I think it's going to be my main like instrument for traveling with <laughs> oh really nice so yeah nice. does, it, does probably it look like, cool does it how does it look? yeah it's like it's got like it's like a maple wood almost mm. like this color mm. wood but a little Ooh. darker nice. um so yeah excited about that <laughs> <laughs> nice 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 we can uh you know kind of talk and kind of maybe just you know explain our feeling while we talk or listen to the song so, oh, cool! Yeah, so nice. that's that's kind of our style here. So, you, you want to explain, or I don't know, you know, something that's more. Yeah, like, yeah. You know, I mean, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it was it was a really special like experience recording this song because um, Kareem Riggins came through to play on uh-huh. it with us. Oh, um, that's really cool. And yeah, he's just like such a legend. Yeah, for sure. Amazing musician and. Um, he had a couple of free hours one evening and just came through like when we were working at the studio and that must have been he crazy played, he played like a snare drum uh-huh. on this like uh-huh. that was the only thing he played he just like nice that sat down with the mm-hmm. snare drum uh-huh. and was playing like brushes mm-hmm. on it yeah um so that that was <laughs> very Damn. cool that, yeah that's mm-hmm. that's pretty sick and then this is along with a few of the others on the album um uh, we also got strings from arthur verikai on mm-hmm. this um and he's, yeah, just like a massive influence on us. Oh, and another fun fact is that Leland played the guitar solo on this song. Oh yeah? <laughs> yeah it's like kind of the first, the, this album is the first time that we've really like used his guitar playing a lot because he's an amazing mm-hmm. guitar player, so. Mm-hmm. So you worked with Russell on this album. And so what, what was the most inspiring thing of working with him? Um. Well, the, the funny thing is that we've never actually met him in person. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, wow. We we sent him all the the tracks, like the stems, and uh, mm-hmm. and he mixed everything. And then we would go back and forth and talk over Zoom or email or whatever. But yeah, we, we haven't actually <laughs> met him because he did everything at his studio in New York. Oh, yeah. I see. He's very devoted to like analog stuff like we are. Uh-huh. Uh, so he loves mm-hmm. to you know, work off tape and have like, uh, work outside of the computer basically. Nice, nice. Um, mm-hmm. So yeah, he, I don't know, he just really brought a lot of knowledge and uh, he kind of just knew what we wanted even 
without us telling him like he just nice. when we got the songs back they already just sounded amazing and <laughs> <laughs> we couldn't sure. we didn't have any uh <laughs> any real like problems with what he was doing it was just like mm-hmm. oh maybe turn that up a little bit yeah but it was like everything was great wow that's great and that yeah that's kind of like one of the things that i think is this album is a bit different from our previous because we mm-hmm. did a lot more with just like leaning on other people and reaching out to different um, people to help us with things like whether yeah. it was the engineering or the mm-hmm. album artwork or collaborating with musicians on the songs it was a huge team effort instead of like just us uh-huh. it probably mm-hmm. gave more depth to to the album mm-hmm. nice That's yeah i think cool. so awesome いや、新曲聴いたよ。これめっちゃかっこいいね。まあ僕そもそもバットバット乗っとくと大好きなんだけど、まあ今回のアルバムも含めてなんでかっこいいんだろうって考えてみたんだけど、やっぱりね、時代にこびてないんだよね。で、これ別に新しくないっていう意味ではなくて、ビートとかグルーブがめちゃめちゃ研究されててアップデートされてるんだけど、音色が極めてオーセンティックなんだよねでその結果何が起きるかっていうと時代感が抹消されるわけですよいつの時代に聴いてもかっこいいクラシックとなりうるそんな曲を作っているのがバッドバッドノットグッドだなぁとこの曲聴いて改めて思ったね心からリスペクトかっこいいね We just played、um, a, a little voice memo from a、uh... One of the、um, leaders of、um, the Soil and Pimp Sessions,、uh, a group out here. That's cool. Well, yeah, I've, I've, heard of,、uh, I've heard of their band before. Like, I've seen a bunch of their videos,、um, yeah. but I, I've never been able to see them live, unfortunately. But they're, they're amazing. They're <clears throat> like so energetic、yeah. on stage. It's crazy. <laughs>、um, all right. So,、um, just、uh, back to you know, a couple of questions.、Um, mm-hmm. Uh, let's see. Oh, I have one question. You, you have one? Oh, nice. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> I was surprised that you never met Russell before and you, you guys collaborated with and made this amazing album. So I want to ask you what, what do you look for others when it comes to like create something together? What's the important thing?、Um, I mean, I think the, obviously the first thing is. Uh, you know, usually we'll reach out to people that were like we've seen or heard something they've done before and we, we like it.、Mm. Um, and that's really like the first, that's just like a reason to get in touch. And then、um, I think you can tell pretty quickly, like when you talk to someone, if they,、uh, you know, if they, if they like the same sort of things that we do or they have the similar influences or.、Mm-hmm. Uh, or they just think about music in, in like a similar way, then that's、right. that's、mm-hmm. amazing.、Um, but I'm g o n n a <laughs> also going to contradict myself because it's also, <laughs> it can also be great to work with people who have a completely different concept mm-hmm. of. Sure. of,、yeah. uh, of do, do you think the、doing? artists or, or musicians that you、uh, collaborated with for this album is rather similar? or?、Mm. Uh, For the most part, yeah. I mean, I think just like on a different level than we are. Like someone like Terrace Martin, for example,、mm-hmm. is like amazing, amazing saxophone player, like、uh-huh. top of the、yeah. uh, chain in terms of like being an instrumentalist. And then also like an amazing producer and like arranger、mm-hmm. and ha- has the ability to like go between so many different things,、um, which I really admire.、Um, mm-hmm. Yeah. And then just someone like Verikai, who's been creating amazing music for like 50 plus years.、Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. It's just like such an honor to meet someone like that. And、uh, we actually got to do a live performance with him a couple years ago in Brazil. Nice.、Um, so that was, yeah, incredible experience. And... Yeah. I think each person h a v e strength, like each artist h a v e their own strength. And- What would you say your greatest strength is? 
Oh, that's a good question. Um, <laughs> hmm. I don't know. I mean, I, I think we try to, um, hmm. I don't, I don't know. I, I think we, well, we, we love to listen to a lot of different kinds of music. So mm -hmm. I think we try to, uh, be open to a lot of different things. Mm -hmm. And if we, like, if we meet someone new to collaborate with, I think like just sort of opening ourselves up to that, to their world. Um, Mm -hmm. it's like something we definitely try to do um and I guess yeah just sort of what one thing we've been working on uh, is mm -hmm. with the last album I don't know if I'd call it a strength but <laughs> just like accepting where we are as yeah, musicians yeah. and mm -hmm. not like not doing a hundred takes of one song because we could do the solos better it's like sometimes mm -hmm. it just you have to let it be and that's where you are at the time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I could feel it from the um, sound from the album, yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. like, what what part of this album do you want um, us to listen most personally? Um, I mean, I think when we, when we made it, the goal was that people would be able to play it all the way through. <laughs> like, yeah, and that's, and that's obviously pretty like, important. <laughs> yeah, not everyone, you know, you don't always have time to do that, but even if you're, you know, if people have to like cook or clean or drive mm -hmm. or whatever, it's like, if they just have it on the background, I feel like it's, uh, it, it's nice when, you know, someone can listen to it like the way, all the way through, like you sort of made it to be. Um, Actually, this is completely unrelated, but I just saw that Spotify um, removed their, like when you go to an album, you yeah. can, it suggests you just shuffle it, but they just removed mm -hmm. that, I think, because of Adele. Oh, really? <laughs> so oh, now when that. you go to an album, it's like you kind of have to listen to it in order, in which I think is nice. cool. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> uh -huh. Good to know. Um, well, um, I guess we're gonna uh, close this up in a little bit, so. Um, what are your plans for this winter? Anything exciting? Obviously, this album is pretty much, you know, uh, the main topic, but anything else or just overall? Yeah, I mean, I, we finally are, are able to prepare to play live again. So we're, we're doing right. some shows in Canada in December next month and then um, going to the US in like March. <clears throat> um, so we're yeah gradually like getting back into that and presenting this music to people for the first time live will be really fun and nice. we're, we've got some exciting stuff planned for like the visual aspect of the show as well oh, nice oh. yeah you guys visuals have been like all mm. the, the videos so far has been great too yeah. so yeah definitely looking forward to that yeah all right and nice. that's it how uh, how often do you do the radio show? Is it like once a week or? Yeah, the the show itself is weekly. We have uh, mm -hmm. the the interviews aren't as uh, as frequent, mm -hmm. but uh, yeah, we uh we try to kind of balance it out with interviews. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes we just talk about like just new new songs in general. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, but yeah, thank you for uh, thank you and uh, looking forward to hearing it live soon. Yeah. yeah yeah i hope i hope sooner than later <laughs> <laughs>